Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So for today's video, I wanted to do another like look for makeup when wearing a mask. So I did one like back in like June, like a few months ago. I'll link it down below for you guys. But that was pretty much just like my everyday like makeup mask routine because I'm wearing a mask when I'm at work. So I wanted to do something that was good for people that would like be wearing a mask for like hours on end. You know what I mean? Like somebody like me that I wear a mask like nine hours a day. So I don't need a full face of makeup. And it's also like not good to wear a full face of makeup under a mask for hours on end. But um, I wanted to do this video for makeup, make, mask proof makeup. There we go. I was like, what am I trying to say? Masked mask proof makeup Whoa, oh my god okay so i mean let's be honest at this point there are times where we are going to put on a full face of makeup and have to put on a mask on at some point and maybe leave the mask on for a half hour 30 minutes like sometimes i go to the nail salon i have something to do after and i put makeup on but i have to wear a mask the whole time i'm in the nail salon so when you take off your mask you don't want your makeup to look like smudged and stuff so i wanted to make this video for that type of situation you know what i mean like you're gonna be wearing a mask for a little bit but then you still need your makeup to look good because you have something to do so that is what today's video is going to be focused on if you guys are interested in that go ahead and give this video a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe and let's jump into the video as you can see i already did my eyes i didn't feel like doing them on camera so i just went ahead and did them off camera so today is mainly going to be focused on like the face because your eyes they're never going to be bothered by the mask you know what i mean like they're never going to be smudged because of it it's more so like this area of your face that's going to be disturbed by the mask so that is what i'm going to be focusing on today so i already have my moisturizer on i moisturize my skin every single day i use the CeraVe. AM SPF 30 moisturizer. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Tatcha, the liquid silk canvas primer. This primer I find um, really helps make my makeup last a long time when I do put makeup on, and especially when I am wearing a mask. So I'm gonna take about that much of it and focus it here and like over here so the makeup has something to really grip to. Right, and then for foundation, I am gonna be using my like favorite foundation ever this is the stellar limitless foundation um i actually tried to find this on sephora yesterday because i was every two days ago i was showing my uh friend at work uh my new youtube buddy santos if you're watching hey girl um yeah i was trying to show him this and they didn't have it on sephora they only now sell it on their website so this is a really good long wearing good coverage foundation that just Makes your skin look just airbrushed without giving you like that cakey look. And I really love it, especially if you want to have to do like my makeup when I'm wearing a mask. It doesn't budge like really for the most part. It pretty much just stays in place and it just looks beautiful throughout the day. So that is why I'm choosing to do this. And I am holding two in my hand because this is too light and then this is too dark. So I'm going to do mostly this shade, which is shade LO2. And then I'm going to mix S04 with it. So I'm just going to shake it up a bit mixing it like a little cocktail in the back of my hand i'm gonna go ahead and just apply it to my face just like that so i'm gonna start with that much i'm gonna go in with my elf sponge and just buff this in so my job has been like hiring new people because we have just been so short staffed for such a long time and a few weeks ago my manager told me that he hired a makeup artist because my manager knows that like I do YouTube and like everybody at my job just knows I love makeup. And I was like, oh my god, I didn't even like meet this person and I was like, we're gonna be best friends. So finally met him last week and he is like my new favorite person of life. He's so cute, he texted me before. He was like, have you recorded today? I'm like, no, 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 I'm like getting ready to. And he's like, all right girl, do your thing. Can't wait for your upload. Um, he is so cute, he is a professional makeup artist and it's so nice to have somebody that it like loves makeup like my friends like makeup but I'm like the only one that like loves makeup as much as like I do so it's really really cool that I have somebody now that is like into the same thing as I am like just as much as I am he's probably a little bit more than me he works at Mac and Bloomies and stuff like that so he is professional then there's me that just says this just because like I have nothing else to do so but I'm actually gonna link his stuff down below for you guys he just started his YouTube channel so make sure that you guys follow him. His name is Santos, and he is just like the cutest, sweetest thing ever. So I am going to link his stuff in my description, so make sure that you check out his YouTube and his Instagram. He has some fire, 
fire looks up on his. Like, he does the faux freckle thing, and he looks snatched. Like, he was showing me pictures, and I was like, your nose contour is, like, like goals. Seriously. But make sure you guys check him out, because he is adorable, and he's just so cute. Love him. So, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more on, just because I didn't feel like this gave me enough coverage. So, I'm going to go and just layer it a little bit more, like, in this area of my skin. Alright, so we're done with the foundation. So I had to pin my hair back a little bit because this next part I'm going to be cream contouring. So this part I have one specific um, product that I use every single time I know that I'm going to be wearing a mask while I have a full face on. And this is a Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. This to me is just super foolproof. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't budge, it is just amazing. I use mine in the Share Fair Medium. So I'm going to go ahead and put some right here. This is the best, like, cream contour thing I have ever tried. And when it, whoop, just dropped my brush. When it comes to wearing a mask, it is untouchable. So I'm going to take my little e.l.f. brush. I'm using the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. And I'm just going to blend this into my skin. With this product, you definitely don't need a lot because a little does go such a long way. Like, it blends it out so nice. Like, you can just see, like, the difference between this cheek and then this cheek. It blends so effortlessly and so beautifully like it's my fave my fave now my favorite part concealing i'm actually going to use three different concealers but for good reason i'm going to start with the dior forever skin i have this in two shades because this is 0N, which is like the lightest shade, and then this one is 2.5N. This is a little too light for me, but putting just a little bit of this makes it like my perfect shade, so that is why I'm mixing that. And then I'm going to do a little hint of my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. Let that warm up to my skin really, really quick. So for setting powder, I am going to use my Kylie Translucent Setting Powder. I find that obviously using setting powder when you are wearing a mask is of course going to make it last a little bit longer because you're not going to have um, like that foundation stickiness happening like on your mask. You know what I'm talking about? Like if you don't set your foundation, it is sticky and then with the mask on, it will rub it around for sure. And this is like my go-to setting powder. You guys know I've been using it forever. So that is the one I'm going to be using today to set my under eyes as well as the rest of my face. I'm just going to buff this out quick. Take that Kylie powder on the opposite side of my sponge and go ahead and set. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the like a little bit of powder that's like in the cap right here and on the same like side of the sponge. I'm going to go ahead and just use this to set my face. I like setting my face with a sponge because I feel like it presses everything into your skin. And in my opinion, this is one of the ways I get my makeup to like last even when I'm wearing a mask because I'm not just like dusting it over my face with a brush. I'm actually pushing it into my skin. And I feel like since I'm using like a damp, so this is like damp but not obviously soap that would ruin your makeup since i'm using this it's also keeping my skin from getting super super dry so even though i am setting it with powder and i am on the drier side i feel like by using a sponge like this it really doesn't um dry out my skin because you're using moisture to push it in and i just feel like it's a perfect perfect combo focus it and make sure that like right over here is good because that is where obviously the mask is going to be so i like to make sure that really focus on like this area making sure that it's good and then of course like your nose I kind of have like a big nose so I like to make sure that I make it like you know powder it so it's good but I don't like to bake for too too long I like to just go ahead and wipe it away quicker than or sooner than later so I'm going to take this brush and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and forth like this and then what I do is I brush it down so any extra powder that's here. I like to push onto like the tops of my cheekbones because I'm giving my cheeks a little bit more extra powder as well as dusting away the excess underneath my eye. And that's going to help really set like this area in place. So whatever I missed with the sponge before, I know that I'm going to get now by just dusting away any of the excess powder. 
So I go back and forth and then I just go ahead, I look up and then I just go like that. And then that is it. So you have flawless under eyes. So you guys know that's like my favorite trick in the book. I'm going to take my sponge again and on that side where I like set the, um, where I applied the foundation, the concealer, go under my eye and just push in any excess powder. Sometimes like the powder can get stuck there and just doing this with a little bit of moisture that's still left in the sponge really helps pick up, pick up any of that excess. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just put a little bit more contour, even though we already did just contour. I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury, the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette. And I'm going to take this, let me dust off all the excess. I'm going to take this little, little brush and I'm going to dip into the contour and dap off all of the excess because I do not want too, too much. I'm going to go ahead and just like kind of just like go back and forth and just add a little bit more powder. This is gonna help set it in place even more and this just is gonna help emphasize your contour that much more. Moving on, what am I gonna do next? All right, so I'm gonna go in with some highlight. This has been my favorite highlight. I even put it on when I'm going to work even though I know like it's not gonna even show. This is the Mega Glow Hello Halo Blush Lighter by Wet n Wild. I was like, who is this by? This is what it looks like. Let me open it so you guys can see it better. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm just going to highlight the tops of my cheekbones. There, I was like, oh, where is my highlighter brush? So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight just the top. This is a beautiful highlight, you guys. Like, oh, what? I love it. I'm gonna go in with blush. I'm gonna take my Kylie blush in the shade Pink Power. This is my most recent blush purchase, and I've only used it a few times, but I genuinely am enjoying it. I really do like Kylie's products, and I feel so funny when I say that. I don't know why, but I really do enjoy like her face products, like a lot. Her eyeshadows are okay to me, but her pressed powders and her loose powders really do it for me. Just add a little bit right there. The blush is added. It added a little pinky here. You can really see it in person for whatever reason the camera isn't picking it up. But now I'm going to go in with Kylie's Pressed Powder in the shade You're Perfect. And I'm going to put this right in this area. So I'm going to go like under my eye like I usually do and then I'm going to bring it down right around there. Around like the sides of my nose and on my cheek. That's going to help make this area nice and smooth and keep it from really budging. Since obviously the mask is going to sit right on my nose. So... Same thing over here, bring it down. This powder just makes all of the difference all the time. I love it so much. I'm quickly gonna go ahead and do my mascara. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic. This is my favorite, favorite mascara of life. So I'm gonna go ahead and coat my lashes. I feel like lips can go either way, like me. I don't mind not putting a lip on and then like when I get to the place that I'm going or whatever, putting the lip on then. Or sometimes like my lip will stay, just like really depends. That's like really, really tricky because unless you're wearing a matte lip, it's not really, it's really going to budge. But I can't wear matte lips because for whatever reason they like really irritate my, like, my lips and I have like allergic reactions to them. So I can't wear them, but I am going to first go ahead and use my Makeup Forever, what is this called? Artist Color Pencil in the shade... Cacao, what is it called? I think it's cacao. Oh, endless cacao. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. It's my favorite lip liner at the moment. For the lipstick, I'm gonna use this L'Oreal lipstick in the shade Fairest Nude. It looks like that. I'm gonna fill it in like this. So for the last step, this is probably like the most crucial part of this whole mask proof makeup is the setting spray so you don't want to use a dewy setting spray for the simple fact that so if your skin is like dewy and it's like kind of like oily or like greasy from the setting spray it will move the products around will move your foundation your powders and stuff like your powder will be set but it will kind of just mess around with your makeup your foundation like all that stuff i learned the hard way one time i used like a dewy setting spray and when I mean my makeup was like gone and just like moved around it looked horrible never again so I have discovered I talked about this in my recent video this is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray party all day stay all night 
I got it in the little size, but this is still a pretty big size. I think this is like two ounces or three ounces. Yeah, three, no, one ounce. Wow, I was way off. But anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, oh, I just dropped everything. I'm gonna hold this little happy birthday card right here. I'm gonna spray my face, you guys. The setting spray will make your makeup indestructible, I promise. You can tell it's gonna make your makeup indestructible because the second I opened my eyes, like I felt like my skin just like, like tighten, but it's not like an uncomfortable tighten. It's like a makeup setting in place tighten. Okay, oh, guys, so this is the finished look and this is how everything is looking. So every single product that I mentioned in today's video, I have learned over the past few months that these are the products that I use if I need my makeup to last through wearing a mask. So that these products between the primer and the foundation, the powders, the concealer, the setting spray, everything I know that is going to last while I'm wearing a mask. So whether you're wearing a mask for an hour, two hours, it's going to last. I've learned that certain foundations will move, especially if they're more like on the hydrating side, or I found that even like super, super matte foundations move. And this foundation by Stellar isn't a like really, really matte foundation or a dewy foundation. It's more like in my opinion, like a satin finish on my skin. And I find that it really just stays in place. So really do your hydrating and really not on me. Do not last through a mask for whatever reason. They just don't. But all these products, they work. I promise you guys. And especially the setting spray. This is like the new and all for me. This just really just locks in your makeup. It kind of reminds me of, um, what's that one? Urban Decay All Nighter, but like on another level. Like here's Urban Decay All Nighter and then here's the Charlotte Tilbury one. I just feel like this one is just amazing and I love it so, so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my mask on for you guys. You guys can see. I wear these masks. I get them from uh, Kitsch, K-I-T-S-C-H. They are sold at Ulta. And this is what I look like when I have a full face of makeup on while wearing a mask and not bad. I'm going to leave it on for a few minutes so you guys can see that even though I'm talking and stuff like that, that my makeup does not move. These masks I really like because they're comfortable and they're not super tight on your skin and they don't pull on your skin. Some masks that I have worn really like tug on my skin and pull on my skin. I've been using these for about five months now and they are my favorite. They're the most breathable, the most comfortable and they are super, super, super cute. So I love them so much. But let me go ahead and take off my mask. I do have like a fuzz in my nose. So here we are. It was on like for like a minute or so, not a few minutes, but even with me talking, you can still see that everything stayed in place. And typically when I'll put a mask on and I'm not wearing like these products, my nose, especially, like I said before, I have a big nose. <laughs> my nose especially will be all like moved around and it is perfect. And so is the rest of my face. So let me take this off. Okay, so these are all of my go-to makeup products and I need my makeup to last, to last, to last while I'm wearing a mask. So let me know down below if you guys have used any of these products, if you guys even bother putting on makeup when you're wearing a mask, let me know down below. This video was really strictly for people that have to go somewhere but have to wear a mask like beforehand or have to wear a mask because they're doing something else quickly. Like this isn't for like every single day. So do not do this every single day. It is not good for your skin if you're gonna be wearing a mask for hours and hours on end. If you guys do need like a video or something on that, I will link my original uh, makeup for mask down below. That is the makeup that I do every single day when I go to work. I really just focus like on this part because this is really the only part that you're seeing. This is for in the event that you have to like go to the grocery store quick or you have to stop at the mall quick or you have to run into a restaurant quick or whatever the case is before you're going to like your event or your thing where you have your makeup on for. This is not meant for every day. So I just want to make that little disclaimer. But that is all I have for you guys in this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe. And I will hopefully catch you guys in my next video. Bye.